Hey guys, Matt back from freesaloneducation.com. I got another Grammy inspired haircut. This one is Taylor Swift. The thing I liked about it was a big change for her, obviously. We have uh, it's Square Bob. Now, I just put out a video about a week ago um, that was a, a boxed bob. The only, the big difference between this haircut and that haircut and why I wanted to do this one as well is because this one's longer than the one I did before. It had a more shattered bang area and a more dominant parting. So I thought that there was enough differences between that haircut and this one. So I wanted to put out uh, another one for you guys. This is the haircut um, right here. So a little bit more of a shattered fringe. It's got a nice hard line. It's longer. It's a fatter bob. I like um, how it has a little bit heavier density, but we did go in and do some dry cutting to help break it up. Let's get going with this step-by-step -step haircut of our Taylor Swift Grammy inspired haircut. Oh yeah, and this is the picture of what it actually looked like, so you guys can check it out as well. Justin, do you wanna throw that over here real quick? So this, um, so this is what our haircut looks like. This is what she looked like last night on the Grammys. So it's a pretty close, I think, um, match. So check it out, here's our step-by-step, -step. thanks for watching. All right, so we're gonna start off the haircut by taking a right-hand side parting, and then we're going to draw a triangle in the bang area um, right off of that. It's really important to make sure that you section the haircut where the client or guest is going to part their hair because um, that is gonna be crucial to the way that the haircut falls. So now we take a vertical line down center back and then a horizontal line across the occipital bone to directly behind the ear. And that's gonna start off uh, our haircut. Now, we're not elevating the hair at all. What we're doing is we're going through and just drawing a line with our scissor. We're gonna create more of a square uh, feel to the back of the haircut. So I'm not putting any tension on the hair. I'm just combing the hair straight down, but you'll see me combing multiple times. The reason I'm doing that is because I wanna make sure that each piece of hair is gonna fall exactly the way that I want it to, and, and I wanna make sure that I'm combing it the natural way that it's going to fall. And then I go through with my scissor and just, again, draw a straight horizontal line through the back that will push a little bit of weight forward. Um, that's really what makes this a square. It's gonna push a little extra weight behind the ear. And then we're gonna base the rest of the haircut off of that. So it's really important that you don't round that corner off. So now I'm gonna go through, you'll see me kind of showing different elevations. Uh, the key in this haircut is to make sure that we have really low elevation because we're trying to build up a lot of weight and a lot of density in the haircut. Uh, if you wanted to take out more weight or you had a guest that had a lot more weight in their hair, then you would just elevate it a little bit more. But be careful because you don't wanna elevate it too much and uh, expand the shape too much on really thick hair. So now I'm going through keeping horizontal sections, um, keeping that square feel in the back so everything is coming towards my body and I'm just cutting a nice horizontal line using a pretty stationary guideline at this point. Now the last little bit what you'll notice is uh, when I start in the middle part of the haircut, I'm elevating things a little bit higher, but once I get over to the ear, um, my angle is still the same, but my elevation um, shifts a little bit down because I wanna keep a little extra density at that point. So it's it really doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's personal preference how much you wanna elevate there, but just know that the more you elevate, the weaker it's gonna be, and the hair already gets weaker behind the ear anyways. So we're repeating the same thing on the opposite side. Um, you could see that little bit of extra weight that goes behind the ear. That's because we're over directing everything back towards us. So it pushes a little bit of extra weight towards the ear. Now notice when I take my guide, I'm not grabbing all of that hair at once. If I did that, I'd be stretching my guide, I'd be diffusing it, and I wouldn't be able to see my guide cleanly. So it's important to just take what you cut previous and bring it into the new hair. Um, so that's why I, I part the hair and then I bring it down. I also, once I start rounding that corner, you'll see that I leave out some of that hair right there. Um, I'm pushing it out of the way because that elevation again is gonna change. So I wanna make sure that I keep that in my mind. So I just push it out of the way and then I cut it last. So you can see that strong shape that's building up. It's really heavy. Uh, that's the whole point of this haircut. It's to really show off uh, that square shape. 
And again, I'm not putting any tension on this, just combing the hair straight down, cutting it where it lives. I like doing this because a lot of times when you stretch the hair with your hands or you're uh, pulling them with your comb, you're pulling too much tension on the hair, so it's not falling like it would naturally. Now, here's a key point of what's happening uh, in the haircut. So you're going to see that I'm going to take a guide, and then this last little bit, once I start working on the top round of the head, I start to elevate the side. What that's going to do is just soften it a little bit. I want to make sure that I don't have too heavy of a line right on the side of the head. I want to just kind of soften and round the edge off. So I give it a little bit of elevation just on that last bit when I start to round up on the head. Pretty much when I hit parietal ridge up to the high point of the head, that's when I'm going to start to elevate. Repeating the same steps, going through no elevation, cutting the hair exactly the way it lives, and then I go through. This last little bit I did cut off and then went through and elevated it. So I'm just dusting the ends off of there. All right, so you can see how that shape, it's nice and heavy, but it does have a little bit of layering to it. Um, that's one of my favorite parts about this haircut. Now I'm going to start off vertical section straight down, a um, little bit of elevation, not too much elevation because I don't want to layer the bang, but I do want to soften it. Um, I'm just bringing everything straight out to me. If you bring everything on the bang straight out to you, what that's going to do is it'll add a little bit of a curve to it and kind of soften it um, around the edges. So right here you'll see there's a little extra over direction in the temple area, so it gives it a little bit of a soft bend to the bang. You can always cut that off later if you want to, but um, I kind of like it in there. So now we're going to go through style it really quick. Uh, we're going to use a flat wrap technique. Um, that's basically taking the brush and working the hair one direction and then going back the other direction. Um, really, th the goal of this is to not blow dry in a part so that you're keeping the root of the hair flexible um, so that you can really push it wherever you want at the end. And we'll go through with our iron. Just softening the edges, you really work the root with the flat wrap, and then I go through with the iron to really polish the ends. Now we're going to do a little bit of dry cutting. What I want to do is soften the fringe. I want to create a little bit more pieciness to it. So I'm going to go through with point cutting technique. So I just slide my scissor underneath. I'm using, uh, we were using our Mizutani DB20 through the whole haircut. Now I'm going through with my Mizutani Puffins, which is a dry cutting scissor. Uh, it just allows me to glide through the hair. Um, it doesn't have any pulling or anything like that. So I'm slide cutting through the bang, point cutting through. This is a little bit deeper point cut. So just working them until I like the result. I think the thing with hair cutting is you gotta be patient with what you do. If you wanna have a PC bang, it's not gonna happen the very first slice that you do. Um, if you try to do that, you're gonna end up cutting something you didn't want. So just take your time, work the area that you're trying to um, diffuse, and then you'll see that your result will be a lot better. A Little bit of tease cutting. This is just gonna round the edges again, uh, kind of add a little bit of air to the shape. Uh, but not changing the shape. So I like tease cutting because it leaves some pieces long and other pieces um, makes a little bit shorter and adds that air. Now we're going to use the point of our scissor, going through doing that detail work around the, um, the outer line of the haircut. You can see I just like to move the hair around um, and make sure that it's falling exactly the way I want it. The greatest thing about this haircut is when uh, the person's moving around, you can still see that really strong line in there. So we'll go through with a little bit of hairspray, kind of show off those layers, and that is the end result of the haircut. I hope you guys like the haircut. Make sure you hit the share button and the like button, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks. What we do here is go back, 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 back. One more intro and I'm done. Hey guys, Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com. I got another haircut for you guys. Mind blown.
Hey guys, Matt back for free. For free, for free. <laughs> Matt back having a stroke in front of a camera. <laughs> Jeez. There's something going on. Hi, this is Matt back from Free Salon Education.